Before pulling in the images, you may wish to edit which image repositories Podman will search. Here's an example for only using Docker I.O. Once happy, use the podman pull command to pull the Postgres container image locally. You can view local images with the command podman images. For reference, Use Podman Image RM to remove unwanted images. Next, create a local directory where the Postgres container will mount an internal path so any database data will be kept persistently. To avoid errors associated with binding ports, I modified syscontrol.conf adding the kernel parameter unprivileged port start and setting it to 80. Load the new settings with syscontrol p. Now run the Postgres container with podman run. Provide a name for this container and I'm adding it to the pod called demo. It needs, at a minimum, an environment variable to set the Postgres password. Run the container in the background in detached mode and include the volume mapping the local directory to the path inside the container, including the colon Z to take care of SE Linux contexts, and finally the name of the image to use, Postgres. Validate the container is up and running with Podman PS. Now you can jump onto the running container interactively using podman exec. Access the terminal based front end for Postgres SQL. Create a new database. And create a new user. and grant privileges to the database for the user. You can list databases with the backslash L and use backslash Q to quit and type exit to exit the container. You should now see the database files under your local directory where the container volume was mounted. You can see that Postgres is listening on port 5432. While not necessary when working on a local host, to connect to the database from an external host, port 5432 needs opening in the firewall. Not forgetting to reload the rules. Here, I'm using dbeaver to test things out. The host being the IP address of the server my Postgres container is running on, the database I call demo, and the user, dbuser, with a password of changeme. And everything seems to be in order.